Good evening, everyone. For those of you that do not know me already, my name is Dexter Doris, and I'm a violinist from New York. Tonight, I am not joined by pianist Jessica Osborne, and I am also not joined by any other colleague or member of the esteemed piano faculty here at the Heifetz Institute. Instead, I have the stage to myself, and for the brief moment that I'll spend with all of you in the audience tonight, I hope that that is a good thing. I said I hope. Um, <laughs> so the piece that I will be performing for you tonight is, it can be taken as one of the most controversial works for the violin, if not for all classical music literature. And that piece is no other than STOMP, S-T-O-N-P, in all capital letters, by American composer John Corigliano. Now, this piece has its fair share of challenges. As you can expect from the title, I will, in fact, be stomping my foot throughout this whole piece. And I challenge you to not get scared because my teacher last time told me that I accidentally gave somebody a heart attack in the audience, so I pray that that will not happen tonight. If it does, I don't have the money for those medical bills, so I'm sorry. So, but the biggest challenge in this piece is not only the stomping, but rather is it, it is a technique called scordatura. Now for those of you that do not know what scordatura is, allow me to explain. Scordatura is the art of tuning the strings on an instrument up or down to different pitches that are indicated to us by the composer in our sheet music. Now, a normal violin is tuned as the following. We have the G string followed by the D, A, and E strings, but Corleano does a little something different. Instead of the E, he takes the top string of the instrument and asks me to tune it down a half step to an E flat, which sounds like this. But if you think that isn't challenging enough, this might be. Corleano also asks me to change the lower string, the lowest string actually on my instrument to, well, here for yourself. That's a pretty big difference, if you can agree with me there. But aside from all these challenges, I think that this piece does have bigger purposes. For one, it provides all of you in the audience with a great showpiece that is filled with technical virtuosity and intense lyricism. But for me, this piece is not only a challenge for me, but it also serves as a testament as to the privileges and the tragedies of living in this modern life. Thank you. <laughs> 